Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira. I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero bar experience other than a passion for making cocktails at home and showing you how I do it. So stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. In today's video, I am making a cocktail that I have never made at home before. It is also a cocktail that I have never tried before. I am making an amaretto sour. You may have heard me mention on this channel before that I tend to lean towards whiskey-based cocktails. So an amaretto sour, although it looks beautiful, and I certainly have seen other people ordering them, I've just never ordered one myself. So today I'm going to rectify that and I'm gonna make my own one at home. An amaretto sour is also a cocktail that I've been requested quite a lot recently to try. And since the other requests that I have made have gone extremely well, I'm gonna go ahead and trust the viewers on this channel. If you think I'm going to like an amaretto sour, then I'm going to make it. Before we get into the history of this cocktail and I show you how I make it at home, I would like to take a second to tell you about my Patreon. It is not only a way of supporting my channel, but you can also avail of exclusive content and see the footage that is just too tipsy for YouTube. Okay, so let's get into the history of the Amaretto Sour. When we are looking at the history of the Amaretto Sour, we also have to look at the general history of the sour itself. The actual concept of a sour, which was adding citrus to alcohol, it originates back to the practice of making something drinkable for sailors at sea. When fresh water was in low supply, what they would do is they would add like a, an alcohol like rum and they would add citrus and they would also add water to water it down. And so the concept of a sour was born. Now, obviously in modern times, sours are a fabulous cocktail that have nothing to do with making water drinkable. So where did the amaretto sour come from? Well, it is obviously a drink of Italian origin, but it is actually a mix of Italian and American cultures. The cocktail was invented in the 1970s, so by cocktail measures, it is relatively new, and it was invented in an attempt to incorporate Italian liquors into the American market. So even though Italian spirits and liqueurs were becoming quite popular in America, at this time, many still found them too bitter. Amaretto was then introduced as something a little bit sweeter, softer, and essentially more palatable for the American audience. So enough history talk, let's get into the ingredients for an Amaretto Sour. The very first ingredient that we're gonna be working with and the base of this cocktail is of course Amaretto. So I picked up a bottle of Disarono Original amaretto which i have never tried before i've been told it is sweet and nutty and mild so i'm really looking forward to trying this now of course because this is a sour we are also going to be working with some fresh lemon juice i have some fresh lemons here we're also going to be working with some simple syrup i have my batch here now typically when making an amaretto sour you would use an egg white to create that lovely frothy head on the top of the cocktail but because i have recently discovered that aquafaba also known as chickpea juice performs in exactly the same way and gives you a beautiful frothy head on the cocktail. I filmed a whiskey sour video, which you may or may not have seen already. I have some chickpea juice to hand, so we are going to work with that. Now, another twist to this classic recipe, which I'm going to be incorporating, is the addition of some American bourbon. And I have to credit Jeffrey Morgenthaler with this recipe because apparently, according to him, he makes the best amaretto sour in the world. And he's very confident about this. So I'm going to follow his recipe because who would I be to refuse adding bourbon into any cocktail recipe. So now I've talked you through all the ingredients, let's go ahead and actually make the cocktail. Okay, so let's kick things off and start with the amaretto. I'm so curious to try this. Oh, what an interesting bottle. Oh, oh my God, it smells amazing. Oh, that smells so good. It kind of all, it reminds me of the Luxardo Maraschino cherry liqueur. Oh my God, that smells so good. I can't wait to try it. Okay, I'm gonna try just a tiny bit. I'm not gonna do like a full shot because I feel like this is gonna be really sweet. Just enough so I can taste it on its own. Oh, it's very sweet. It's really mild. On its own, it's sickly. I don't really like really, really sweet things, but 
I would imagine this is going to be delicious in a cocktail. Let's go ahead and add it. We're gonna do 45 mils, pop that in. It's kind of syrupy as well, I like that. We're also gonna add in our freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're gonna do 30 mils of lemon juice, which should be roughly half a lemon. Oh my God, this is so satisfying. Yeah, that should be perfect, 30 mils in. Now we're gonna add in the bourbon. So in the recipe, Jeffrey calls for exactly 22.5 mils of bourbon, which seems a little bit too specific to be serious, but however, I'm gonna get as close to 22.5 as I can. So let's go here, 20, Mills. <laughs> that was a bit generous, but it's fine. So roughly 20 2.5 mils of bourbon in there. Now we're gonna include just five mils of simple syrup, which makes sense because I would imagine that the amaretto is gonna make this sweet enough. Ooh. Okay, that again was a little bit generous, but that's fine. Hopefully my generosity with the bourbon will balance that out. Next up, we're gonna add in our aquafaba or our chickpea juice. This recipe calls for 15 mils of egg white, so I'm roughly gonna do 15 mils of chickpea juice instead. This is roughly 15 mils, let's pour that in. So that is all of our ingredients combined. We are going to do a dry shake first, just to aerate it. Then we're gonna do a shake with ice and hopefully give it a nice frothy head on top. Okay, so we've done our dry shake. Let's add in our ice and do a proper shake. And I'm gonna use my plentiful arm muscles. Let's see how we get on. Oh, it looks really good. Ooh, it smells amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Just like that, we are ready to pour. And then we will do our garnish. I'm hoping my glass is big enough. We'll see how we get on. Oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be just about the right level. Not gonna pour any more just in case. The color is beautiful. Okay, so let's quickly get our garnish ready. I'm of course doing my absolute favorite, the maraschino cherries, which are pretty typical with a sour. You can also do lemon peel, but my cocktail is so full already. I don't want it to spill over, so we'll just rest the cherries on top. <laughs> They're like sinking into the drink. Our amaretto sour is finished. I have to say it looks absolutely beautiful. It does look a lot like a whiskey sour, I'm not gonna lie. It is a little bit darker in color, and I think that is probably because of the amaretto liqueur, but I'm very curious to try it and see how different it is to a whiskey sour and how the bourbon works with it. So if you will join me over on my Dr. Evil chair, I can finally try this and see if I like an amaretto sour. Okay, so it is time to try this. It looks so beautiful. And I have to say, initially it did remind me of a whiskey sour. Now that it's settled, it has its own distinct color. It looks beautiful. The aquafaba is so handy to use instead of an egg white. I'm really enjoying incorporating it, but let's taste it and see if it actually passes the test. Oh, that is absolutely fab. Wow. Oh, I love that. Let me try it again. It's stunning. Even though it's not overpowering at all, you can definitely get that subtle kick of the amaretto. Slightly nutty, it's like a nice kind of smooth flavor. It's like it's flowing through the drink. It doesn't like punch you in the face, it's just there. It's very, very good. And the bourbon works so well. I couldn't really imagine this drink without it. I feel like it just wouldn't be as exciting without the bourbon. I mean, obviously I'm a bit biased and I, <laughs> like whiskey and everything. Honestly, I have to hand it to you again. I have tried so many new cocktails that I absolutely love based on what you've recommended in the comments. So once again, please let me know what other cocktails you think I will like, because honestly, you know what I like better than I do at this point. I would also love to know how you make an amaretto sour. Do you stick to the original recipe? Do you add bourbon? Do you add something else? Let me know in the comments. Oh my God, it's cherries. It is at this point that I get to sit back, enjoy my drink and answer some Patreon questions. I've only recently launched my Patreon and I am having so much fun with it. So if you're interested, I will leave a link in the description below. So I have a question here from one of my patrons, Travis Bounds, and he asks, after COVID gets sorted, do you plan on coming to America? I'm just gonna take a quick sip before I answer this. Well, Travis, you may or may not be surprised to know that I've actually never been to America. 
I think some of the viewers on the channel find it mad that I haven't been to the States yet. And I've been close, I just haven't been there. I've been to Mexico, to Cuba, to Belize, but I've actually just never gone to the US. It is definitely something that I wanna do. And rest assured, when I do go, which hopefully won't be, won't be too far away, I will be doing a grand cocktail tour because there's a lot of places that I wanna order cocktails from. So there you have it. That was my take on the Amaretto Sour. It is safe to say that I have found another cocktail favorite. So thank you so much to the people who recommended it. And please continue to leave me your cocktail recommendations in the comments. Let me know what other cocktails you would like to see. If you would like to see me make other cocktails, I will link a playlist up here. If you enjoyed this video, you can also give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Cheers. Thank you.